What could be better than soft rolls with a crispy crust and served with butter? Nothing. So it's no wonder that these French-inspired maraquetas became a staple in Chile. So let's make it. As usual, we can start by proofing some yeast. Get one and one quarter cup or 300 grams of water and heat that up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius. Mix in two and a half teaspoons or 10 grams of active dry yeast. Mix it all together with a fork and let that sit at room temperature for 10 minutes. Now get your stand mixer with your dough hook attachment. Feel free to mix it by hand, but the stand mixer is a lot easier. To your big bowl, add three cups or about 500 grams of bread flour. And add two teaspoons or about seven grams of kosher salt. Mix that all together with a whisk. Then we can start it on low and add all of our yeast water slowly. Make sure to scrape down the sides if needed with your spatula. Once everything's incorporated, just let that run on medium-low speed for about 5 minutes. Even though the stand mixer did most of the work, we can still knead it by hand just to make sure it's all smooth and pretty and beautiful. Go ahead and knead for 2 minutes. Once we're done kneading, form it up into a ball. Get a large bowl, grease it with vegetable oil or cooking spray. Place the dough ball in your bowl, cover it with a damp towel and let that sit at room temperature for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes are up, dump it out onto a work surface and cut it into 8 equal pieces. And then gently flatten out each of your triangles. Take each of the 3 points of the triangle and fold them into the middle. Then flip it over and roll each of your 8 pieces into a ball. The easiest way to roll them into a ball is to cup your hand, place your hand firmly on the ball, and then maintaining contact with your work surface. Swirl it around and keep pressing firmly until it shapes itself into a ball. Once we have all eight balls made, we're going to join two of them together at the bottom. Lightly press them together, and then gently roll them out so they maintain their original shape. Coat the entire top surface with vegetable oil, and then we can cover them with our towel for 10 minutes to rest. Now if you have a couche on hand, now is the time to use it. If you don't, we can use a towel and that's going to work just as well. So lay that towel or your couche on your work surface and give it a good dusting of flour so nothing sticks. For each of our joined dough balls, we're gonna get something round and cylindrical. Make sure it's pretty small. Here I used a reusable plastic straw. You could also use a wooden spoon or anything else cylindrical. That's about the same shape and size. Then for each piece of dough, press that cylindrical object into your dough lengthwise. Do that two times to form a nice crease. Make sure to go all the way down Take each piece of dough, lay it upside down into your cloth, and then make little folds with a towel for each one of them. This is going to help maintain the shape of the dough. And then we can cover it with another towel for about 30 minutes. Once it's been 30 minutes, get yourself a parchment lined baking sheet, and then set all four of your maraquetas onto the baking sheet evenly spaced out. Then we can put it on the middle rack of an oven, set to 410 degrees Fahrenheit or 210 degrees Celsius. We'll let that bake for 15 minutes. And one thing to note, we're going to be baking with steam. So during the preheating process, make sure to put a small, heat-resistant pan down at the bottom rack. Then when it is time to put it in the oven, we're going to follow these steps. First, we're going to put the baking sheet on the middle rack. Then we're going to lay a towel onto our glass of the oven. This is just a precautionary measure. If you were to get one drop of cool water onto the hot glass, you could risk it shattering. And then finally, we're going to toss a few ice cubes into our preheated pan. I used only three, but I recommend using a little bit more than that, maybe six. Once the ice cubes hit the pan, it's going to create a lot of steam very quickly due to the temperature difference. And it's going to give us a nice crisp crust. Make sure to remove your towel, and once again, we're going to let that bake for 15 minutes. Once it's finished, pull them out of the oven, serve them hot, and with loads of butter. Let's take a look at our final product. So there we have it, we made Chilean maraquetas. Their unique shape and ability to easily pull apart makes them great for gatherings or just because you want yummy rolls throughout the week. 
So if you enjoyed the video or learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. We're continuing our Bread Around the World series and have many more videos to come. Thanks for watching.